A young guy named Tajik hiding from the controller finds no other way out but to jump off the train. On the move, he is accidentally noticed by the girl Ermino, who got out of the car to wait until the train passes. The young man goes home to his little sister. After a long separation, she buys her favorite ice cream and prings herself by finding some perfume in her backpack. The half-naked sister opens the door, not hiding. Her disappointment invites her brother to enter. She is going on a date, coldly accepts a package with a gift and casually notices that her brother has grown up. Goodbye Anka. It's like she's flirting, kissing her brother and asking if he loves her. Tajik looks out the window, watching his sister with her new boyfriend Andre. The room that once belonged to him turns out to be locked. He looks into the hole, sees that there are piles of boxes stored in it. A little later, he makes a small rearrangement in his sister's room and sits down contentedly in an armchair. Late at night, Anka returns with her companion. Drunk and tipsy, they burst into the room. The sister sends her brother to sleep in the kitchen. Tajik is angry, but can't do anything about it. To do. In the morning he wakes up from, rustling in the kitchen and seeing Andre, pretending to be asleep. However, he does not, bother at all, sits down next to the sleeping youth and notices that the Tajik does not like, his sister's suitors. However, Andre is sure that, soon they will become friends because they will become, one family. At breakfast, Anka, asks how long her brother will stay. She, does not believe that he came only for the summer, holidays. After that, she emphasizes, that he no longer lives here, which means, he can't move the furniture as he pleases. Tajik blames his sister. After all, it was she who sent him as far away as possible. Wanting to end the conversation, Anka says about her serious plans with a new boyfriend, declaring at the same time that she is happy with him. Finally, she throws a change on the table and asks to wake her up in the evening. In the courtyard, Tajik meets girls among them. He recognizes Armina, but she does not pay much attention to him, only when he leaves. The girl tells her friends that one day, this guy is going to be her husband. On the way home, Armine changes into her tight jeans. Since she lives in the gypsy quarter, there are guests in her house. And, according to mom, important guests from England. So they communicate in the kitchen. Suddenly, three men run into their block, beat windows and houses, break cars and scare children. A car also comes under attack. Guests from England. Meanwhile, Anka is showing off to her brother a new dress that she can't afford, but really wanted to try on. A little later, she also prepares a delicious dinner. Anka jokes about who he has such a talent for. After all, mom was clumsy. The guy suggests that maybe they are not related at all. They have different fathers. So, maybe the mothers are different. Such a joke. Anka did not like it and she offers him to leave the apartment if they are strangers to each other. Tajik is worried that he is bothering his sister with his presence and his room is occupied by Andre's things. Because of what the guy, there's just nowhere to sleep. Indulging in nostalgia, the guy looks at family photos where they are still little sisters, especially his. Attention is attracted by half-naked pictures of an already adult sister, on one of which he attentively examines her breast. In the morning right in the hallway of the apartment, Tajik discovers two guys putting books in a box. His room was vacated. Andre took care of it. Since Anka decided that her brother would stay with her for the time being, Andre declares that he should not have occupied the room. Tajik and calls the guy to the fact that he must fight for everything that is valuable to him. However, the guy is a pacifist by nature. His mother was a hippie and hung out with a punk. After playing football with his old friends, the Tajik makes inquiries about Andrew. It turns out that the sister's new boyfriend has connections everywhere. He even, I received money from the European Union for the construction of a new stadium. He is also married and has two children. Trying to reason with his sister, Tajik did not. Being shy in their expressions, they call Andre a liar who promises to marry Anka without even intending to divorce. Furious, Anka retorts by calling her aunt Tajik and knows that he failed the exams. It turns out that he deceived her and came, not for the summer at all, but with the intention of moving and end, living. Anka demands her brother to pack up and leave, and when the Tajik asks not to talk to him in such a tone, she turns over his entire bed and he shows off his negligee calling his brother a pervert. Tajik only wanted everything to be as before with his sister. At this moment, they are distracted by the doorbell. The man checks the meter readings and gives the girl the last warning, because she doesn't pay the bills. Watching how the Tajik collects things. The girl is overcome with guilt and she admits that she regrets her act. In the past, she shouldn't have kicked her brother out when she put him in the care of strangers. Then they hug and cry. At the market, Tajik meets Ermina again. She offers to read his hand and says that everything is wrong with him. In between, she does not forget to mention that she will soon become his wife. At home, the guy discovers Andre, who is indulging in sweet pleasures with some blonde. The guy runs out into the yard and shouts loudly, attracting everyone. S attention and pointing at Andre, laughing that 
the man brought his mistress to the bride's house. At this time, Anka comes in, drives Andre away in tears. At night her brother comes to her and lies down next to her. The sister touches his hair and then asks him to go back to his room. To the next day Tajik brings the remaining things. Andre goes to the base to his guys. He deliberately emphasizes that he does not come from here and is clearly pleased that he won over his sister's boyfriend. Anka takes the ice out of the refrigerator in tears. The electricity was turned off for non-payment. The Tajik gives all the money he has, promises to get more. But broken, Anka only asks to leave her alone. Tajik starts working part-time and meets Ermina. The girl guesses that the guy really needs money and offers him her help. A little later, wanting to please his sister, the Tajik polishes all her shoes to shine. After coming home from work, Anka changes clothes in her room and notices how her brother is watching her. During the preparation of breakfast, the guy again promises his sister to earn money. Anka perceives his words as childish. The next day, the guy comes to the gypsy quarter, but he is immediately surrounded by local guys. To the rescue, Ermina arrives, threatening everyone with her father's fury. The girl knows how to get money. After dark, they make their way together to the warehouse, from where the guy takes the largest Turkish carpet to sell it on the market. Having learned from a local merchant that he can't help out more than 300, Ermina takes matters into her own hands and proves by cunning that the carpet is made of the purest sheep wool, but still a little more is not enough for the Tajik to the full amount. The girl promises to return to him in an hour. At home, Ermina again helps her mother with guests. She has long attracted the attention of a gypsy from England who are interested in her studies and her favorite subject, finding the gypsy girl's desire to become a doctor strange. Upon learning about this, the men at the table laugh, and the girl in the kitchen drops tears because her mother does not protect her at all. Having taken out the missing amount from the home cash, the girl goes to the Tajik. The guy promises that from now on the girl can always count on his support. A happy and self-satisfied Tajik watches his sister from a nearby entrance, who suddenly discovers that electricity has appeared in the apartment. He returns. Home pleases his sister with her beloved pistachio ice cream. Suddenly, Ermina appears at his house, who really needs someone to talk to. However, the Tajik interrupts the girl with the words that he is busy now and offers to meet her tomorrow. Returning home, he enters the bathroom to his sister and naked, climbs up to her. Anka protests and tries to expel her brother, which causes slight bewilderment of the Tajik. After all, she didn't tea mine before. Unable to sleep, he goes to his brother and a light touch will be his. She is upset that he no longer wants to be her brother and this is abnormal or wrong. Tajik confesses his love to her and says that he no longer wants to be ashamed of his feelings. Together they indulge in their forbidden and mutual desires. A carefree, completely happy guy wanders around the mall and meets Andrew. A little later, with a smile on his face, he leaves the store with the same dress in which Anka once flaunted. The guy runs home with all his legs, enters the apartment noiselessly. He disconnects the wires from the intercom, sealing them with chewing gum. Meanwhile, Andre's car drives up to the house. The Tajik is already waiting for him, convincing him that Anka has left and there is no one in the house. No, the intercom is silent, so Andre leaves. A little later, the Tajik buys two movie tickets, wanting to take my sister out of the house. However, on his return, he finds Andre in the kitchen. The brother makes a scandal for his sister, threatening that he will kill him or even kill himself. After a while, Andre accompanied by Anki attend an event in honor of the opening of the stadium and during the evening. Celebrations, Anka dances with an official, who begins to let go of his hands. Girl, he informs Andre about this, but he only cares that this person will soon become a minister, then promises him good, a place on the electoral list. Anka gets angry, and goes to the bathroom. Andre, follows her, insists that she go to the hotel with this man. The girl clearly does not agree and Andre sharply grabs her by the hair, claiming that then they will all go together. However, it turns out at the car that Andre is still not going to go with them. As a result, Anka slaps her fiancé in the face, chases him out of taxi a man and goes home. The brother sees all this and runs home, wanting to comfort his sister. The girl doesn't want to see anyone, slams the door in his face and crying alone. Meanwhile, a wedding is being celebrated in the gypsy quarter. Ermina is married to a gypsy from England. Her whole family is happy except for her. In the midst of the fun, vandals throw combustible mixtures at the celebrants and leave the crime scene in a hurry. Near the railway Tajik meets one of these guys. After finding out what they arranged, the Tajik throws himself at the guy with his fists. Then we see how the guy goes to the place where they used to spend time with Ermina. After a while a girl in a wedding dress appears. Ermina accuses the guy of being. He ignored her at the moment when she needed him the most. But now, she is married and hates Tajik for it. After giving the guy the first and last kiss, 
the girl says goodbye to him and leaves. Already in the morning, the Tajik returns home, Anka, informs him that his things have already been collected, hesitantly putting a container of ice cream on the table, after which she hands him a spoon. The movie ends. All bye.